Hey YouTube, Little Cheddar here with the first real episode of my Tune Down series. Today I'm going to show you how to solo a building the proper way. This is going to demonstrate the safe way to solo a building, not the show off lureless risky way. Let's get started. Get ready to take on the cog building here. Random purple rabbit coming out of nowhere, that's definitely going to be on the blooper reel. But I came prepared with all of my gags as you can see. So I am all well and prepared to take on this building. For this journey, you need lure. So don't, don't do a solo building without lure unless you want to show off. And here we go as the elevator counts down. Slow, very methodical countdown. Let's get this thing underway. Little freeze here, can't control it. And into the action we go. I'm confronted by one cog. Easy enough. You see that it can be taken out by a lure cream pie combo. So I lure that cog. And now it with a cream pie. Out. I apologize for the lag, but that's what's caused by the screen recorder. And I go on to the next floor here. Confronted by two cogs, a level 7 name dropper and a level 6 telemarketer. Double magnet lure. Not the double magnet, but big magnet. We'll get them, and it does. And I notice that this cog will not be going down to just a normal cream pie. So I just can use double fire hose on it to knock it out. Bag the big magnet lures it for three rounds, so I won't need to worry about the telemarketer hitting me any time. Now, of course, you could have used a level 6 gag to knock out the name drop from one hit, but it's bad to use a level 6 gag early on, as you might need it on the last floor. And I use another fire hose to knock out that name dropper. It's doing pretty darn good right now. Slowly goes down, mixture of slow game and lag. And now it's just me face to face with level 6 telemarketer, and the cream pie will take that down in one hit. Because of knockback. Now a fun fact knockback. Many of you ask, what is with the random amount? Well, it's half of the damage that the guy does it, so cream pie does 40. Knock back will add another 20, which takes out the telemarketer, level 6. Very little interesting fact I found out a few days ago when playing the game. Then we go on to the third floor. Now, second last floor of any solo building is an ideal time. If you have enough level 6 gags, it's an ideal time to actually use one of them. So don't go crazy with it. Bad things will happen as you'll approach the last floor and you'll need it. Level 8 and level 6, big magnet, lures them both. Oh boy, a cog invasion began. This is going to be double points and double merits for me. Telemarketers, well that makes the last floor a heck of a lot easier here. Now, I use the storm cloud here on the two-face. Not a bad idea. As I said, it's okay to use level 6 gag on the second last floor, especially in my situation where telemarkers only go up to level 6. So, the last floor will be a piece of cake, no pun intended. <laughs> Another two-faced level 8, I need to hurry up and get this cream pie, cream pie out so this glad hander goes down. And it does. Here comes two-faced. Mind you, use another, uh, it's okay to use another level 6 here. 
because of the invasion. But in a normal building, it's not a good idea to use two level six on the second last floor. Cause you never know what's gonna happen on the last floor. But my situation is good. So I use the $10 lure, it hits. This town markers or two faces in it. Defeat here at the hands of me and my storm files. Yeah, I apologize if I'm making a lot of mistakes. This is my first real video. I'm not even gonna go back and correct them. I mean, because I'm tired and I just wanna get this out so you guys can be happy. But it's okay. First video, I can make a little, little bit of mistakes as we go on to the fourth floor. The last floor, my friend whispers something to me, kind of private stuff. Last floor, three telemarketer level sixes. Big magnet lure will take care of this problem. You know, my situation, I have all these level six gags, and I'm in a, in a predicament where it's only level six cogs coming out. I can go a little crazy with my level 6 gags as long as it won't put you in any future danger which in my situation it won't so I'm just gonna methodically take out all three of these telemarketers with birthday cakes so uh oh another telemarketer comes out of the elevator I need to hurry up and knock out one of these other telemarketers which I do using my second birthday cake tell you that either way I'm going to get attacked by a cog here so I just end up going for the storm cloud on the lured cog. I'm going to be taking some damage from this unlured cog but it will not be anything big if I can just take it out with my last birthday cake. He uses double talk, 12 damage not too bad and it goes down to a birthday cake. Organic, by the way. <laughs> but that's pretty much for, that's pretty much it for this demonstration. That is how a building is sold the proper and safe way. Thanks for watching a pilot episode of my series. Bye! <laughs>